This morning food is sponsored by Card Door. <laughs> Right, last time, uh, Mr. Selfridge, Startley and Ockenden was on the show. He made us a promise, and since it's on tape, we obviously held on to it. <laughs> you should come in and bake for us. I'd love to. Would you? Yeah, Would absolutely. Would you do it? Yeah, of course. Oh, Every, no. Everyone in my ear at the moment is going, yes, yes. Oh, I think, fun. I think that you'll find you're booked. OK, perfect, let's do it. Done. He's oh, booked. you looked slightly under duress during that. Yeah, well, I didn't think it would happen. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so here you are. This is your cooking debut mm -hmm. on television. What are you Absolutely. making for us? I'm going to make you a hot cross bun cake, which is wonderfully indulgent, and it's going to last for the whole Easter weekend. And I love wow. the fact that you uh, you actually have tweeted. Uh, one of the tweets was, second baking experiment for at ITV this morning uh, is in the oven. Mm -hmm. Hashtag fingers crossed. Got to get it right for the silver fox. Yes. And uh, we mentioned earlier on that it was actually an ordinary fox. There's your tweet. Um, that was eating the leftovers from your garden. That's right, yeah. And I'm, he survived. He survived, yeah, he's still around. He's getting fat. He's not really running away from anybody anymore. Look at that. Can we just oh, talk about that? your garden ornaments? <laughs> <laughs> what are those bits? They're, 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 they're like they're my mother-in-law's womble gnomes. Oh, oh, that's really sweet. Well, you've got your missus here today, I think, haven't you? Yeah, Amanda. Um, uh, there's Vanessa, Philip, and Hi, Vanessa. my daughter, Lila. Oh, Lila. Hello, Hello, guys. Hello, Lila. Hello, guys. How lovely Lila's to see you. Lila's the cheese. Give us a wave. Yeah. Are you Give the cheese wave. taster? Does Daddy's cakes taste nice? Mm. <laughs> what do they taste of? Delicious. Delicious. Right yes. then. Okay, good let's first. go. Okay. okay, right, let's go. So what I've already done so far, right, because we want to get all of the flavours of a hot cross bun into a cake. So what I've done is I've juiced and zested some oranges and lemons. We've got some sultanas here, mixed peel. Now, I'm Cornish, and I can never, ever resist this We're both Cornish. There you go. Get some rum into it so to get piratical. <laughs> so what I've done there is and some golden syrup. And I've brought all of that up to the boil. Let's simmer for five minutes and just let cool. Because this is going to go in and this is going to provide the sort of the fruity, zesty magic in our cake. And also what I've done, what often gets left out of hot cross buns these days, and when my award-winning ones are made, was nice drop big, that in. Yeah, it was an award-winning Juicy one. apple. That's, oh. So we grated an apple in there and that's gone. So now that's gone all lovely and cool. Now, jobs. Yes. Philip. Have you seen me in the yes. kitchen? We've got you a um, relatively simple Good. task, Good. Amanda. So that's just some really strong, nice um, bread flour. Yeah. And I want you to sieve that with uh, this cinnamon, nice generous amount of cinnamon, because all of the spices of hot cross buns, mm -hmm. and some bicarbonate of soda. I can do that. That's, now, Philip, for you, that we've got doable. some buttermilk here, which yeah. works against Oosh. the bicarb of soda yeah. really well, because that's what acts the leavening agent, the acidity in the buttermilk. Right. So then you're going to get two eggs, crack them in there, whisk that up with a bit of vanilla. Now, I'm going to get busy with the main sort of beery batter. Now, what we've got here is some melted butter, and I'm going to put this golden ale into this butter here, right. and we're going to mix all of that together. Which done when you need it. Whilst uh, we're doing this, let me just say that if you fancy having a go yourself, we've got some supermarket offers uh, that will cross your screen right now so you can pick up a few bargains. And Leon, is it true that you actually wooed Vanessa, your wife, through your baking? I think that was the only thing that got me across the line, really. <laughs> with regards to, she wasn't interested until she tasted my cakes. How much, uh, how much vanilla? Just a little, there? little drop of vanilla in there. Just a tad. Yeah. That's beautiful. Okay, okay. so once the um, the butter and the beer combine together, because the butter is just going to in the hinterland of the palate of the cake. Ooh. It's going to give it um, just the sense of fermentation. Yeah. So like we're kind of getting that sense of like the hot cross bun being in there. Ooh. So we put in the caster sugar and then almonds, right? Because one of the things I love about hot cross buns is the toastiness of them. So the almonds are going to give a sense of that nutty sort of toast and a bit of creamy indulgence in there. Mm -hmm. So that goes in like this and we get this in. I can feel a cookbook coming on. I yeah, there's Christmas. Too. Leon Ockenden's sweet treats available. Yes, if anyone's Bookstore available. Near you. He's available. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, right, so this... 15% for this morning. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be looking after you. Yeah, well, if you tweet about it, we can all uh, take care of each other, nicely. Uh, so, right, this is all combined lovingly together. Mm -hmm. Now, in with your buttermilk and your eggs. And Amanda, I'm going to keep stirring here. So once Philip's got the hand, that's lovely. So you see this, like, this is this gorgeous beery butter. And this is what keeps the cake moist yes. for the whole weekend. So if you just go in... Gently. I need to get the whisk, actually, here. Except the whisk, you want to keep the air in it, do you? Well, this is... Now the bicarb will start reacting with the buttermilk. Yeah. Yep. And it will just start to make this really lovely, boozy kind of batter. And so if you, if you do live on your own or you're alone when you're cooking this, do you need to call two other people in to help you make it? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> it's a way that you can make friends over the 
just a weekend music. But, um, you were saying earlier, actually, that you let your neighbour have some cakes and then they've made you something in return. Oh, my word. Yeah, so we were, I gave them one of the experiments, the first experiment last week, and they've got a lovely family. And they came over on Sunday... Um, with this amazing chicken biryani dish, a big plate full of food, which, um, yeah, so... This seems like the way forward. I think so. It's good. Yes. Make okay. cake, make friends. Right, so you see this? Yeah. You see the bubbles, that's starting yes. to happen? That's so that the, the bicarb. That's the bicarb acting with the beer. This is good. So we're ready now to get in with all of our lovely fruity mixture. Now, this is where it gets easier from this point in. So we've done all the hard work, and now it's a low-maintenance cake. So we're just going to... Combine all that together, just mix that through. Now, we then pour it lovingly into our cake tin, all the way Ooh. to the top there. I might have to have a lick, lick of that bowl in a minute. Yeah, we'll try a bit of that, that you get I will. Sense I of the sense of the bun there. Ingredient. Now, the great thing about this cake. Oh, that's good. I can really taste the beer in there. Mm, yeah. Mm. And here we go. So, just in an oven for an hour. Hour and 15, depending on your oven, at 170. Okay. And then uh, maybe you can go and watch some Mr. Selfridge on catch up. That's what I do. <laughs> or finish the beer that you Finish the beer, have a little beer, in. enjoy another episode of Mr. Selfridge. Okay. <laughs> and the great thing about um, the cake when it's ready is it just comes out of the oven and you just put it on the cooling rack and you just let it cool for a couple of hours. Okay. Then this is for you. Oh. This is one for me. Gosh. We got one each. So what you do is this. Once you've um, taken it out of the tin, as you can see, we've just glazed it here. This is just apricot jam and water. Boil it up, and you just dab on generously because this is going to help seal in all of the the moisture. So you for put the it down the sides as well. Yeah, so just cake. all around the sides, like so. And then the icing for the icing because mm -hmm. this cake is absolutely delicious, like it is now. But I think if you're going to go for cake, Bit of frosting, got to indulge, right? Yeah. So we take some double cream. And we whip that up and we put in uh, a juice of a lemon, icing sugar and some cream cheese. And we also reserved some zest earlier on in the recipe. And you put that into the um, icing as well. Got so, about 30 seconds, Liam. OK, here we go. So the icing, here we go. The icing. That, Philip, that's a beautiful job. You're going to be on the British Bake Off, mate. Mm. Um, well, I'm not going to be. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is this. As you know, when you're a father, you have, don't have much time with a young child. So you don't or if you're a there. plasterer. Yeah. Our plasterer. <laughs> now, what you're going to do is uh, just smooth that out over the top. I'll do the same there. Just the top. Just yeah, just keep it nice You've and rough. You've been told about me, haven't you? I'm literally I've been kept out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> now, what to make it a little bit more hot cross bunny? Uh, you, that's lovely, Philip. Get that stencil on, mate, and shake over some of that cocoa powder. Very good. Now, obviously, you can do this cake for um, Easter weekend, or. If you're me, I'm going to make one tomorrow and keep it for what's known in my house as Selfridge Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a slightly different finish to go on top. Oh. As you can see, Philip, hot cross bun cake done. Excellent, Nailed. Philip. Result. That's brilliant. And then for Selfridge Sunday, hopefully... Something. You, you, you're telling me that this is Jeremy Piver. I hope so. I mean, this is not. So, you should have done Sergei de Bolotov. Oh! Oh! Yay! Oh Look my at gosh! That. And he looks a bit younger in that, so he'd be happy about it. He does. I'm very <laughs> pale. <laughs> we are browner in real life. I can't remember the last time, in fact, we ever did this. But uh, for our chef, a round of applause. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, oh, didn't it genius. Well, Vanessa? It Absolutely so brilliant. And uh, what's the show that's on this weekend? I miss Self on the TV. Season finale begins in America on PBS this oh, weekend. Oh, I see. We'll lose you now. Well, you'll we'll we'll disappear off. <laughs> Absolutely. We're, uh, we'll try this uh, in the break. Um, uh, still to come. And no question that Liam's cake has a, uh, a few calories in it. Uh, but what exactly <laughs> is a calorie, and how do we burn them, and uh, how can we consume less?